Mini Coopers have been a big part of my family's history. It all started with my grandfather, Don Racine. And when I was um, living on the East Coast as a young boy, I got involved in Porsches. And I was running Porsches on the East Coast. And my work took me to California. And I sold the Porsche back then, bought another Porsche out here. And the insurance company looked at me and said that, you're a kid, you're driving a Porsche. In California, we got you. So I remembered that the, when I was running back in the East Coast, the only thing that used to beat me was a little white Mini Cooper with a gray-haired old man, and now I am one. After Don purchased his Mini Cooper, he participated in autocrosses, which are pylon races. The autocrosses were basically a parking lot pylon race, if you will. One car at a time, going around pylons, and they usually classed you according to the car you were in. As I remember, I was running J-Stock, at least at the end it was called J-Stock. I don't remember what it was at the beginning. J-Stock is where we ran the stock Cooper S's. Don is also the founder and owner of Mini Mania, a company which sells Mini Cooper parts. Mini Mania got started when I was, um, I don't know how many Minis I had at the time, but I had more than one, and I was looking for parts. I ended up contacting the UK and bringing parts in directly from the UK. And uh, I was then in a mini club, and lots of fellow members said, well, bring something in for me while you're at it. And it just got so big that it outgrew the garage, and that's how Mini Mini got started. After 10 years of autocrossing, my family decided to participate in big race events. Without going very far, you can probably run six or eight races a year. They're run by various clubs. The rules vary a little bit from club to club. The typical turnout of minis is not great but they turn out as many as six or eight. When we, you know, when we bring four of our own, we can get eight cars there. Well, and it's not just minis in our class. Uh, we race against Porsche 911s, 356s, uh, Alphas, Triumphs, Sprites, uh, a whole variety of cars that are pretty similar in lap time <coughs> to what the Mini can do. So, uh, you know, we end up with a field that's got usually 40 or 50 cars in it. We have four family members that race Mini Coopers. My grandfather, Don Racine. My father, Dennis Racine. My aunt, Julie Racine. And my uncle, John Burnman. We've got five vintage race minis right now that we maintain and, and race. Kind of a family affair these days where it's not just dad and I racing, that it's also my sister and her husband also race. So it's, it's quite the family affair. We have you know, any given race weekend, we've got four minis out there, all with the racing name behind the wheel. Mini Coopers have made a big impact on my family. Well, it's clear for me that that's, um, for the last 40 plus years, that's all I've done. Uh, and that's all I still do is play with minis. I spend all my time in a mini. Yeah, for me, it, it, it defines a lot of who I am. My dad, he, he's, he is the face of Mini Mania. He is Mini Mania. Um, you know, and I'm his son, and not far from the tree. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of what defines me. I mean, I, um, so, you know, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's, a, you know, it's something that you just, you know, once you have one, once you've driven one, you just can't get enough of it.